Hey everyone, how's it going? A big welcome to another video. And in this video, I will be giving you an interesting opening trap for um, white, but white is going to set to black. And this trap comes in the Petrov defense. Also, some people call it the Russian defense. So uh, yes, it arises after the moves one, four, e5, knight f3, knight f6. And here, there are a few options. Uh, knight c3 is a move. d4 is a move. Bishop c4 is also possible. It recently came to my attention, but the main move throughout the years is the move knight takes c5. And uh, yes, I mean, it, there hasn't been a clear way of how uh, the Petrov defense will be refuted. It's been a headache for many 1 4 players. For example, it was played uh, in the World Championship match. It was played in the Candidates tournament. Yes, Nepomianchi used it to beat uh, Wang Hao. Nepomianchi used it uh, to play against Magnus Carlsen, and he lost one game with it, which was uh, the second game he lost. And that was a very crucial game because it ended all his hopes for making a comeback after he lost the first game. But overall, the Petrov defense has been a great opening. Um, Fabiano Caruana is probably the leading exponent of the Petrov. He's played it with great success. It helped him qualify to the 2018 World Championship match, where he beat, um, in the final round of the candidates, he beat Alexander Grischuk with the Petrov in Berlin so that he can qualify. But then he lost from Magnus Carlsen in the rapid time control. But of course, Magnus Carlsen failed to prove any advantage against Caruana's Petrov. And, uh, the game ended in a draw. So in this game here, um, knight takes e5, which is uh, the main move throughout the years, and here d6, and uh, the white knight goes back. Now, the white knight uh, usually goes back to f3, and here black regains the pawn on e4. Now, uh, here the main moves are d4 and also d3. Bishop d3 might also be possible. Knight c3 is the move that uh, Carson played against Caruana. And after knight takes c3, d takes c3, uh, white's plan is quite simple and straightforward it's to move the dark square bishop to e3 or to f4 sometimes, go queen d2 and castle long. So this is uh, white's plan. Uh, now, if not for knight c3, they sometimes go d4, and after d5, bishop d3, now black has a choice how they will continue. Bishop e7 is possible, bishop d6 is possible, many moves are possible. Um, d3 is also possible, and um, yeah, it could lead to this variation, which could also come from the exchange French with uh, queen e2, and this can be a bit challenging for black. Uh, yes, uh, anyway, um, I'm going to be focusing though on an unexplored sideline. And when you play something that is unexplored, especially if it's like a blitz or a bullet game, you can get some wins with it because your opponent will be unfamiliar and they might play just a natural developing move and not pay attention to your trap. So the move which I will be giving as a trap is the move c3. And I need to take and make a disclaimer that this is not the best move in this position by far. But if black carelessly just plays a normal developing move such as bishop e7 intending to castle and they don't pay attention to white's plan because it's a very important thing in chess to not get carried away only with your own plans, but to also pay attention to your opponent's plans. So if they play bishop e7, then the move queen a4 check can be deadly because now they're going to lose the knight on e4. So um, here, uh, basically, it's a completely winning position for for uh, white. So what they should do? Well, plenty of ways to avoid it. I mean, any sensible move um, that doesn't lose the piece would work. For example, knight c6 would work, c6 would work, d5 would work, knight f6 would work, bishop d7 would work, bishop f5 um, would also work. The point is that if they play, for example, uh, let's say just a normal move like here, Queen e2 is answered with queen e7, and after d3, the knight can safely drop back. 
so there is no danger whatsoever so uh, this move is not guaranteed to work every time but it can be a good trick for a blitz or a bullet game or in general if you feel like setting up a trick and you want to um, get an original position that your opponent might not be familiar with then you can play the move c3 having said that the petrov is an excellent opening and it's very hard to get an advantage against it anyway uh, but this trap can get you some quick wins so i thought to share it with you so this video is going to be useful to one in four players that struggle against the Petrov, to Petrov players with black because it's something they absolutely need to know about and they need to avoid at all costs. And it would also really work for people that fit both of these categories. So that means they are both one in four players with white and Petrov defense players with black. So I hope that you enjoy this video and you took value from it. Now, if you are a competitive chess player and you want to fund your chess progress, you might be interested in starting a side hustle to earn an income online. If that's the case, go to the link in the description, insert your name and email and watch my free introductory training where you will learn the three secrets my mentors use to generate a consistent income online and how you can do it too, even if you have no previous experience. If you are a subscriber, I will catch you at the next video. Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.